Hey traders, I'm Yuri Safrano. Came back with a new video. Welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of contracts for difference, also known as CFDs. CFDs are a popular trading tool, but they can be complex for beginners. So we'll break it down nice and simple. So, what exactly is a CFD? Imagine a contract between you and a broker. You agree to speculate on the price movements of an asset, like a stock, currency, or a commodity. You don't actually own the asset itself, you own the contract based on its price. So there is a key. You profit if the price goes in your favor and lose if it goes against you. It's all about the difference in price from when you enter the trade to when you exit. That's why it's called contract for difference. Let's get real with an example. Say you think Apple's stock price will rise. You can buy a CFD on Apple without owning any shares. If Apple's goes up, you profit from the price difference between when you purchased and sold the CFD. But if Apple goes down, you lose the difference. CFD trading offers some unique advantages. Leverage is a double-edged sword. You can control a larger position with a smaller deposit, magnifying potential profits. But losses can also be magnified, so use leverage with caution. Short selling. Unlike stock purchases, CFDs also allow you to speculate on falling prices. You enter a sell CFD contract, profiting if the price decreases wide range of assets. CFDs can be used on stocks, currencies, commodities, indexes and more, offering diverse trading opportunities. Let's find out the benefits of CFD trading. Speculate on price movements. You can profit from rising or falling prices without owning the asset itself. Increased efficiency. You can access more assets than traditional investing. Hedging. Experienced traders can hedge existing holdings and manage risk using CFDs. So, what are the downsides of CFD trading? High risk. Leverage can amplify losses significantly. CFD trading is complex and not suitable for beginners. Margin requirements. To hold a CFD position, you must maintain a minimum deposit with your broker. If the market moves against you, you may need to add more funds to maintain the margin. CFD specific fees. Brokers may charge additional fees for CFD trading compared to stocks purchases. So are CFDs right for you? CFDs can be a powerful tool if you are a seasoned trader comfortable with risk and complex instruments. But if you are new to trading, it's wise to start with smaller options and build your knowledge before diving into CFDs. Do your research, understand the risks, and always trade responsibly. In the comment section below, let me know if you have any questions about CFDs and what other trading topics you'd like to see covered. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more trading tips and tricks. Thank you. Oh, no.